welcome everyone to Langham Common Riding Concert and Investiture for 2023. It's great to have a full house in here once again. The common riding atmosphere is building nicely and tonight we'll see things really gather pace. The hills and valleys surrounding Langham have never looked better and everything is set for a fantastic day on Friday. The most important part of tonight's concert is the investiture of Corner Christopher Tate and the presentations to Semi Jubilee Corner Malcolm Devlin, Jubilee Corner Michael Bell and Diamond Jubilee Corner George Elwood. These duties will be carried out once again by Michaela Maxwell. It now gives me great pleasure to hand you over to our new compere for the evening, another new face in the job, ex-corner Kevin Grieve. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you along here to tonight to the 2023 Langham Common Riding Concert and Investiture. This evening plays a huge part in the build-up to the common riding and is the musical highlight for many. It's a great honour to be asked to be part of this evening as I know what an excellent array of talent the concert organisers have once again lined up for you. Although I have to admit that I feel a little out of my comfort zone as the depth of my musical talent equates to that of a puddle. <laughs> In fact, my music teacher in the academy, Mr. Bacon, actively encouraged me to take anything but music when my subject choice came round in third year. <laughs> However, I now feel Mr. Bacon should possibly have eaten his words, as since leaving school and becoming cornet in 2006, I've actually played a few different musical instruments with all three bands in the town, and although it's been 15 years since I last played, I couldn't let the chance, the chance of being on the stage here tonight to go past without having another bash as there's a good chance I'll never be asked back. <laughs> so since I was invited a few weeks ago to compare tonight's concert, I thought long and hard and chose what I feel is my strongest instrument, and I've practiced and practiced religiously, and I'm about to give you my first ever solo performance. As not to steal anybody's, any of tonight's performer's thunder though, I'm not going to play the full song. I'll give you a shortened version, and the first person who can guess the comrade and tune I'm playing, and show what it is, will win a prize, which is one of Tracy Goodfellas' leftover cakes on the way out. <laughs> and if nobody gasses, I'll take the cake. <laughs> this evening's concert than the way that most people see our common riding day kick off, with a double tap of the tune band drum. Although the flute band are out first thing in the morning to rouse the townsfolk, there's always something about that double tap on the big drum as the town band set off playing all the airts with the cornet and flag right behind them. That to me signals, here we go for another common riding day. Once again on Saturday night the Castle Craig's dinner, the band defied the odds and squeezed into the hall that was already full to the brim and once again raised the roof for an outstanding performance. Such is the pool of our town band that 26 Hoyt fellas each parted with £220 to hire a horse, £20 for a horse holder, £15 for a dinner ticket, as that's the only way they can witness the twin band's performance at the dinner. <laughs> now normally if you get a Hoyt fella to part with a five you're doing well, so to get up to £255 is a lot for the twin band. Fortunately for you all here tonight though, it won't cost you anything. But even if it did, it'd be worth every penny. So can you please put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Langham Twin Band.
Absolutely brilliant as always, and what a way to get the evening started. Amongst the many traditions of Latin Comoriden that we all know that we all know well, there are always little ones that you come across that you're not aware of. And last week when I was speaking to Christine Calvert about tonight's performance, she informed me that the town barn traditionally asked the Cornet's parents for their favourite Comoriden songs, and that's what they play here tonight at the concert. A tradition I must admit I wasn't aware of. So if anyone in the audience was disappointed by the choice of Comoriden tunes played there, <laughs> Mama Tate is happy to meet up in their car park outside and <laughs> discuss your grievances. Earlier in the year, three members of the Toon Band were awarded life membership of the Scottish Brass Band Association. Jacqueline Elliott, Nicole Weatherston and Christine Calvert all received their awards after serving 44 years in the same band, which is no mean feat and shows the dedication they all have towards the band. For one member to receive this would be an achievement, but for three members of the same band to get it in the same year is very unique. And I'd just like to take the chance to congratulate the three of them on that great achievement. I was speaking to Christine about it later on at the Cornets night last week, and my memory's slightly hazy, but I'm sure she told me that her award has taken pride of place on the mantelpiece beside another award she won last year after her unbroken 40-year subscription to Scottish Pipe Band Monthly magazine was recognised. <laughs> so Christine, congratulations on that award too. <laughs> One of the greatest things about tonight's lineup is how much youth there is throughout the programme. With so many youngsters in both bands and youngsters willing to come on the stage and sing, it can only bode well for the future. I'm going to bracket our next entertainer in that youngster category for the simple reason that he was in my class at the school. <laughs> However, unlike me at school, John was encouraged to pursue music. Over the years, he's been in the pipe band, the flute band, and has also played the bass drum in the tune band on Comoriden Day on one occasion. He's graced the stage singing on a couple of occasions in the past, and then in 2021, when COVID restrictions curtailed the Comoriden, he was compared for the virtual Comoriden concert. And last year, when everything returned to normal, he was up here standing where I am now to compare the 2022 concert and an excellent job he did of both. So to give us Rose of Allendale and Oahu Waits, can you please welcome to the stage Mr John Innes. Sorrow's lonely hour When tempest lashed Our gallant bark And rent her shivering sail One maiden form Withstood the storm Was the rose of Allendale Was the rose of Allendale And when 
my fevered lips were parched on Afric's burning sand. She whispered hopes of happiness and tales of distant lands. My life has been a wilderness unblessed by fortune's gale. Had fate not linked my lord to hers, the rose of Allendale was the rose of Allendale, the rose of Allendale. Had fate not linked my lord to hers, the I just managed to recover for the polka in time to dance in the wings. Just to, I got a bit of common ride and I, I came about as. <laughs> oh, how the earth's the wind can blow. My fancy's flight is ever we, my Jean. I see her in the dewy floors, so lovely, sweet, and fair. I hear her voice in ilk a bird, with music charms the air. By fountain shore or green, nor yet a bonny bird that sings, but minds me, oh, my Jean. Oh, blind westland winds blast soft among the leafy trees. We gentle gale from mill and dale bring him the laden bees and bring the lassie back to me that's icy sweet and clean and think o' oh, her we banished care say lovely is my jean what sighs and vows among the nows they passed between us twa. A winter to meet, a way to pet, the day she gained a war. The poor's a boon can only can to whom the heart is seen. But name can be so dear to me as my sweet, lovely Jean. <laughs> Excellent, John. Thanks very much for that. Brilliant as always. As I alluded to earlier in the pro earlier, the programme tonight is full of youth, and now we welcome our youngest performer of the night. But don't let that fool you, as her CV is filling up fast. Whilst attending Gretna's Music Academy, she has just passed her ALCM in Musical Theatre, her Grade 5 in Musical Theory. In October this year, she will start working towards her ALCM in Classical Singing. And this is her fourth time singing at the concert, along with other concerts and functions that she's become in high in demand for. At the Cornets Night last Friday, she produced a couple of performances that were beyond belief for someone of her age and literally left some of the audience with tears in their eyes. So we're definitely all in for a treat here tonight. Singing Rowan Tree and Annie Laurie, please welcome to the stage Miss Kayla McVitie.
think we can all agree that was an exceptional performance from a, for a, from a young lady who is destined to go far. And the most amazing thing is that I don't think Kayla realised just how good she is. I'm sure we'll all see her on a far bigger stage in years to come and I'd like to wish her all the best for her future career. Zalangham has changed much over the years and employment opportunities have lessened, forcing our younger generations to move away to seek further education or employment. It's always a worry that this may have a negative effect on the common Iden. But in truth it seems to have worked the opposite way and all those exiles probably try harder than anyone to ensure it's possible that they're here on that last Friday in July. I've always associated tonight as the first night you see the familiar faces filtering back to their home tune to celebrate their common riding. With this in mind, I'd just like to read you a poem, Take Me Back to Langham, which is probably as relevant now, if not more so, than when it was first written. And to any exiles in here tonight, welcome back and I hope you have an excellent common riding. Well, take me back to Langham, where I would like to be. Take me to the dear old tune where meet the rivers three. Take me back to my own folk that were I say leal and true, who will give a hearty greeting to me as well as you. Take me up the long far and out be sorby has. Take me up Old Whiter and over by Taras Moss. Take me up the Old Pete Road when the sun sets in the west and let's go round be Gaskells, the walk we like the best. Take me up the velvet now to view the landscape o'er and gaze down on the skipper's brig as we did in days of yore. Take me up to Bagra, to the top of the castle hill, and stand and gaze in wonder, where all is quiet and still. Oh, take me back to Langham, for that wonderful day in July, when we meet old friends in the morning, and at night we say goodbye. We take our memories back again, when we put the goings fine, we clasp each other by the hand, as the bands play Auld Lang Syne. And with quiet peace and contentment, held close in the summer spell, we leave the home of our childhood and go back to the city to dwell. I'd now like to pass you on back to Comrade and Chairman Tommy Morrison for the main part of this evening, the investiture of the Comrade at Cornet in the presentations. important part of tonight's proceedings, the investiture of our corner and presentation to our semi-jubilee, jubilee and diamond jubilee corners. As we mentioned earlier, this ceremony is to be carried out by Michaela Maxwell. Michaela. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, we've had another fantastic two weeks leading up to our common riding. Exiles have returned and visitors have arrived. The town is bursting at the seams with excitement and anticipation for another great day. Tonight's investiture welcomes us into the best few days of the year, and all townsfolk of Langham, and we are, and all townsfolk of Langham, and we are set for another great day on Friday. On May the 12th, 2023, Christopher Tate was elected to represent our town as coronet. Chris has been doing a fine job. He has carried out his duties to a high standard with a huge smile across his face at other events throughout the summer calendar, visiting neighbouring towns and local ce celebrations, and at our own ride outs over the last two weeks. I'm sure Friday will be no exception to this. Chris is a stand up member of our community and has been from a young age when he was elected as head boy for the school. Through his passion in rugby, he has developed an interest in supporting the next generation coming through and is a trustee of Langham Rugby Youth Trust. He's also kept busy with being a trustee of the XL Youth Trust, where he is able to support the group to ensure there are plenty of opportunities available to the young people of Langham, showing his commitment to the future of the town. Chris first started riding at six years old and developed the hobby through the Langham Young Riders he rode the Castle Craigs for the first time in 2018 and went on to do Common Riding Day the following year. This is also the first time Chris took on the position of Castle Craigs Fair Crier. 
a role he stepped into after a childhood of attending common riding events and displaying his talents. This year, as our cornet, Chris will again cry the fair at the Castle Craigs. This will be the first time in living memory that the cornet has cried the fair at the Castle Craigs. Anyone lucky enough to be on the hill to see this on Friday will be in for a treat. Quite the spectacle to add to our history. Cornet Christopher Tate, on behalf of the members of the Common Riding, it gives me great pleasure to present you with your sash and riding crop. I congratulate you and wish you the best of luck on Friday. You can rest assured that when you set forward to carry out your duties with dignity and pride, you will have the whole support of the townspeople behind you. Mr Chairman, Michaela, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, I would like to thank Michaela for investing me with his beautiful sash. I would also like to thank the Common Riding members for presenting me with this lovely riding crop. I will treasure, treasure them both for the rest of my life. Lastly, I would like to wish everyone an enjoyable Common Riding. Thank you. Cornet. He joined the Castle Craigs Club and first rode the common riding in 1990. He later supported the club by joining the committee in 1996. The year he was Cornet, the Derby Board... <laughs> the year he was Cornet, the Derby winner was High Rise, bringing the colours of black and yellow to Malcolm's year. At the time, Malcolm's dad, David, was groomed for the front three, a special time that created a lot of memories with each other. It also meant that Malcolm was led into the Kirkwine by his dad on Common Riding Day, a unique occasion and a very proud moment for them both. 25 years on from your Common Riding, you're in a very fortunate position where once again on Common Riding Day, you will be at the front of the mounted followers and be able to add to the memories you already have. Carrying the flag from Castle Craigs to White Well will bring back so many emotions and I'm sure it will feel just as special as it did in 1998. Malcolm has chosen a nibby made by ex-cornet Simon Richardson to mark the occasion. I congratulate you on achieving your semi-jubilee and hope you have a great day celebrating on Friday. Chairman, Michaela, Cornet, right and left, Jubilee and Diamond Jubilee Cornets, ladies and gentlemen. First, I'd like to thank the Common Rain members for presenting me with this lovely nibby on the occasion of my semi Jubilee, kindly made by ex Cornet Simon Richardson. I'd like to thank you, Michaela, for your very kind words. When I was Cornet in 1998, 25 years seemed a long time down the line, but they have just passed in a flash. Since the election in May, I have been to other border common ridings and attended many functions and I've had an absolute blast. I'm sure the next two days are going to get even better, especially on Friday when I get to carry the flag from the Castle Craigs to White Well, courtesy of the corner. I would like to thank for asking me to carry it to finish off the job I started 25 years ago. Cornet Tate, I wish you and your family all the very best for Friday and that you have a great day as much as I did in 1998, and you are left with memories that will last your lifetime. Michael and George, I hope you and your families have a fantastic day. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a tremendous common riding, because I'm damn sure I am. <laughs> Celebrates his 50 years since being cornet in 1973. 
He began to ride from age 15 when he was employed on the Isle of Arran as a shepherd. This led him to ride in the common riding for the first time in 1968 and joining the Castle Craigs Club the following year. <coughs> for many years after being coronet, he served on the common riding committee and was president of the Castle Craigs Club. Known, known for his love of the outdoors, Michael took up rugby as a young boy, an interest he has stuck with throughout his life. Michael has been president of the rugby club, is now honorary vice president, a member of the management committee, and wardens the caravan and camping at the club. It's safe to say he's passionate about it. It wouldn't be the Milton without seeing Michael there. He has taken time over the summer to mark his jubilee by visiting other common ridings and holding a party to celebrate with the, very, the many friends he has made over the years and from his time as cornet. He has chosen to have a second band added to the nibby he received on his semi-jubilee, which has been engraved to mark this jubilee. Michael, on behalf of the members of the Common Riding, I am pleased to present this to you and hope that you and all the family have a fantastic day on Friday. Mr Chairman, Michaela, on the right and left, ladies and gentlemen. Fifty years ago, my mother gave us a watch. That watch, I've still got in my wrist, and it's still ticking. <laughs> there was many a day I thought that I, this was a day I would never see, but fortunately, my heart's still ticking, and it's still in the same place, and it's must be pride at the moment. I thank the commentating committee for the band on my stick, Wish everybody here and everybody in Langham the very best common ground ever. Thank you very much. This year, George Elwood celebrates his Diamond Jubilee, reaching 60 years since he was cornet in 1963. George has been a great supporter of the common riding, serving on the committee for many years and has passed his enthusiasm on through his family, with son Stevie being cornet in 1995 and grandson Jamie in 2015. George has been on top form over the last two weeks and he has relished in the celebrations, taking it in and making special memories on this unique year. <coughs> As a keen horse racing enthusiast, George can be found watching the races in Hoyk on, on a Saturday with pals. To mark 60 years since he was cornet, George has selected a model of a racehorse, Arkel, to keep as a token from this year. George, it is my pleasure to present this model horse to you on behalf of the members of the Common Riding. I'm sure you will treasure it to mark this momentous occasion. I hope you have a fantastic day on Friday celebrating with family and good friends. concludes this year's investiture and presentation ceremony. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Michaela for the gracious and dignified manner in which she carried out this very difficult job. Well done, Michaela. There will be a short interval. The bar will be open. It will be followed by the second half of the concert. Thank you.
Welcome back to the second half of the concert, and I'm pleased to inform you that the second half is as packed full of talent as the first half was. And we'll kick it off as we did with the first, as the first with one of our bands from the town. Another success story for, for the town is the Pipe Band, which is pull, packed full of young members, ensuring the future of the band looks healthy. And it's great to see so many of them playing here tonight on the stage. Tonight they will play a 4-4, Rose of Allendale, Dawning of the Day, The Music of Spey, a 2-4, Barren Rocks of Aden, Highland Laddie, a slow air, the Rose of Calvin Grove, and a 4 4, Scotland the Brave, Drummond Tree, Bonnie Galloway, and Noah Wata, by the way. Now, if you think I know or understand what a 4 4 or a 2 4 is, you'd be completely wrong. But what I do know is it'll be bloody good. So please welcome to the stage Langham Pipe Band.
Another excellent performance to get the blood coursing through the veins, and it never fails to make the hair stand up on the back of your neck. There's always something special about hearing them play throughout the town tonight, and I often wonder what a first time visitor to the town must think as they're enjoying a quiet pint and a full pipe band march at the pub while playing their comrading tunes. The band certainly had an extra atmosphere, whatever the play, and I know, when, and I know that when the Castle Craig's pony ride was first in the planning, it was a must that the pipe band should be involved in the day. Unfortunately, the band were more than happy to oblige. Such is the popularity of the band. They not only fill out venues where they're playing, but they also set a new Guinness World Record last week when tickets for their disco tonight in a social club sold quicker than bottled water in the Sahara. I hope you all have a great night. Our next performer is making his debut on the stage, and having heard him at many functions this year, I'm confident it will be the first of many times we hear him perform at this concert. Hughie Donaldson comes from a family with a strong common riding pedigree, and I'm sure if he cut them all in half, like a stick of rock, it would lead long and common riding right through the middle of them. I was fortunate to spend my year as cornet with Hughie's granddad, Joe, as he was 50-year cornet that year, and it's great that Hughie's tonight singing two of the songs that Joe would often be heard singing at various functions throughout the common riding. I'm sure if Joe was here tonight, he'd be bursting with pride. A keen, capable rugby player, Hughes turned out for both Langham and Hoyt last season, but I'd just like to take the chance to chuck my opinion in the ring here and say, Hughie, I feel like your cheekbones and your skin complexion are more suited to the crimson colour of Milton than that horrible green for up the road in Hoyt. <laughs> However, at this time of year, rugby's on the back burner and the comrade takes over for Hughie. He joined the Castle Craigs Club in 2019 and has followed every year since. He seems to be the most unflappable man I've ever seen and I've come to the conclusion that if I ever see him worried, I'm really going to worry. It can only mean it's the end of the world or someone as bad as that. Singing Jeannie's Blackie and Flows of the Forest, can you please welcome to the stage Mr. Huey Donaldson. Half a 
that longs for her white broom. Oh, lift like she's dancing, keen on the gowny green, barefoot and kilted, half up to the knee, while Jeannie is sleeping still. I'll rain and sport my fill. I was asleep, but you've woken me. Sleep, but he's walking me, laughing till like to drop. Swift to my jean, I laugh, kissed her right roses and blessed her blacky. And I sing, so near we meet, sing for the sound is sweet. I was asleep. But if and me pleasures and felt her decay. Sweet was her blessing and kind her caressing, but now they are fled, they are fled far away. streams glistening in their sunny beams, both drumly and dark as they rolled on their way. Oh, fickle fortune, why this cruel sporting? Oh, why dost thou perplex us? Poor sons of a day, thy frowns do not fear me, thy smiles cannot cheer me, for the flowers of the forest are away away. Thank you. I think I've ever been so glad to hear the word damn come out of somebody's mouth. 
Huey, for somebody to perform like that at their first ever coming out in concert and make it look so easy just shows that you really have got some talent. As you've done everywhere else you've performed this coming out in, you've raised the bar again and are a great advert for the talent we have here in the town. that not only will we see you on this stage again singing, but given you and your family's passion for the Comoriding, I wouldn't bet against you being up here, here one year receiving that prize, Cornet Sash. Have a great Comoriding. <laughs> our final act of the night is a local band that are guaranteed to send us on our way with our toes tapping and a spring in our step. Ian Anderson and Eric, good fellow, have been playing together for approximately 15 years at venues both locally and further afield. Eric is the son of the well-known local band leader, the late Eric Goodfellow Sr. Not only the pair are band members together, but they've also became brother-in-laws back in 2016 when Ian married Eric's sister Helen. So the band's are now a real family affair. Please welcome to the stage Ian Anderson and Eric Goodfellow. <laughs> It's a great pleasure uh, to be playing here in the Buclew Centre at the Common Riding Concert. Uh, it is uh, very nerve-wracking to play uh, in front of a, a pile of people that you know, but we hope you're all having a fantastic night and you're enjoying this wee, this wee rendition of a couple of uh, tunes. The first tune there was the Body Border Burn, which is not strictly Common Riding. Uh, then the Soft Bowl and Tongue of the Borders, uh, and the last one obviously, Annie Laurie. We'll finish off with a wee set of tunes we normally play for the, for the Gay Gordons. Uh, the first one is... What was it called? In fact, the, the, the third tune in that last set was all the airs. The first tune in this next set is Annie Laurie. Uh, and then we're going to take a wee chance and play a hoik tune. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 
Good one. <laughs> we'll play Hoyt Queen of the Borders. So we tell you it's like that. Helen's uh, Helen's dad, uh, I believe, is from Hoyt. So that's that's the reason for playing that one. So if you want to uh, have a complaint, then you'd speak to Helen and, and good luck with that one. Uh, and uh, we'll finish with the Rose of Alan Day. fantastic way to conclude tonight's concert and I'm sure there were many in here tonight wishing there was a dance floor rather than a tiered seat in. Thanks very much to you both. Before we welcome the company back to the stage to sing Bonnie Langham, can I just take the opportunity to thank you all for being an excellent audience this evening. As I alluded to earlier in the evening, my musical knowledge is nil. And when I walked into this stage tonight, I can only imagine I felt the same as Donald Trump when he walked into the White House. I thought, how the hell did I get here? <laughs> However, having a great audience like yourself makes the job a lot easier. Whatever your plans are for the big day on Friday, can I just wish you all the best and I hope that you have a great, happy, healthy comrading with your nearest and dearest. Now if you've all made it back onto the stage, can I please ask the company to lead us away with Bonnie Langham. I have to cut the free drink, I think.
folks, that's it. Another Common Riding Concert Boy. The singing of Boy Langham brings us to the end of the proceedings. I'm sure you'll agree with me when I say that we have witnessed a fantastic concert this evening. such a success. Firstly, I would like to thank our two concert organisers, Glenn Cavers and Jamie Fletcher. <laughs> also, Chris and Veronica for the light and sound. We should also thank our accompanist, Gareth Block. Well done, Kevin. Yeah. Well done also to the Town and Pipe Bands, who both gave a rousing performance. <laughs> and the entertainer, who performed to a very high standard. Thank you, one and all. I would like to thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being such a good audience and making the job of the entertainers so much easier. I'm sure you will join with me in wishing Cornet Tate all the best for a great day on Friday. Yeah. Yeah. For everybody else, I hope you all have a great coming.